Well, hello, children. Welcome to Twat, Two Wongs and a White. Excuse me again. Oh, Jesus. I yes. know. Sorry, Sophia. This episode, like the first one, is Two Wongs and Two Whites. We thought we'd balance it out. Thank you. So, uh, yes, I am Harshi. This is Ken. What? Uh, yeah. That's Ken. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, and this is Tim and the lovely Sophia. And I am Harshi. Um, I came across something really interesting today, but before we do that yet again, Cheers. Cheers. Let's I'll do learn one day we'll just go straight shots. to the shots. Yeah. Guys, guys. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. Disinfectant. Disinfectant. It's good for what ails you. Oh, Did yes. you know that back in the Roman days, if you were suffering from the flu or some type of fever, the warriors or gladiators would be, uh, by the elders, they'd be put into a room with several young women. And apparently the heat from the... Uh, uh, actions throughout the evening would sweat out the illness. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold Correct. On. What kind of action? Well, you know, just, I Demonstrate don't know, probably them. hopscotch, a uh, bit of twister. Standing next to them. Standing next to them, yep. Holding uh, your hand. Bit of pin the tail on the donkey. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. Great. <laughs> I like that. I found something really interesting the other day, and it's all about uh, how we're now putting our search into space to try and find more uh, precious metals and minerals because we're pretty much, you know, we're trying to mine the crap out of the earth. So, but what's happened, uh, NASA has, do has joined with SpaceX and they're going to launch what's called the uh, Psyche mission. And they've found a, uh, to survey a rock circulating up there in space and they estimate the take from this thing from minerals and metals will be 10 quintillion Quintillion dollars. Now, I don't know how many zero is in that. 19. 19? 19 zeros. Oh, that's right, because you just saw it, it written just, down again. No, 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 I, oh, just, no I just happened to know that. <laughs> 19. I need to learn to read what I'm... Right. But, 19 um, zeros. Really nice having you here, Sophia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look, do you think there's a need for that? Yes. Is it just one, like, asteroid or one meteorite? Or well, are they going to... One, one asteroid at this stage. One asteroid can bring that much? That much, yeah. Well, no, asteroids are fucking huge. Honestly, uh, one more thing about that is that they have to launch rockets. They have to launch. They have to. It, the upfront cost for that mission will be so high that it's possibly justified because it, how much? They'll set yeah, up, a, yeah, they'll yeah, set yeah, up yeah. a moon base or some type of mid, you know, a satellite base or something like that. They'd have to set up a processing plant in space. So yeah. it, are they robots that are going to mine or are Ooh. they people that are going to mine? Well, it depends what you mean by people and robots. <laughs> uh. Ooh, one with there. human flesh, one with like... The mechanical inside. Mechanical inside. But Again, what if it's what both? <laughs> what if it's both? No, I, I, mean, I would say, I guess a smart way would be automating it. It wouldn't be like, what was that movie where they went into space to get rid of the asteroid coming into? Wally? No. Not Wally. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> that was the opposite. They were trying to bring Earth back to Earth. Um, Wally was such a good movie. I mean, movie, what it's called? Cool. Armageddon, Armageddon. 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 Yeah. yeah. Bruce I think Willis, it'd be like right? Armageddon. Yeah, with the big you know, where they go up with the big, big spaceship and try and dig out some gold. Yeah. That was right. a weird movie. But I mean, I, I personally, I just think it's going to cause more trouble. You think so? I look, the, the way this world vies for our resources and how many wars are still being fought, even though we haven't learned from our past, mm. it's all about we want more, we want more, which, you know, it's a personal hate of mine. Isn't that human nature, um, though? Yes. Well, I see. I mm. Hello. <laughs> human nature can be over, you know, Darwinism. Human nature can be changed. We evolve, mm. but we're not. We're devolving. We're going back mm. to we want widgets. We want things in our pockets. And I think that's the, the, the thing that worries me is that will this become a space race or a war? I mean, you look at Both. the South, South China yeah. Sea, you yeah. look at Taiwan, uh, you look at other countries mm. that are involved with other countries, you know, where they're saying, this is mine, this is mine. We were talking earlier with mm. Sophia, you know, where they're going to go up and, you know, my mine, my mine, mm. you know. <laughs> I mean, there are different ways to maximize the utility of natural resources on Earth. Of course there is. So, and we're never going to go totally green. There's, there's a great book which I got up there, which I can't remember. Again, you, you'll know once... <laughs> I can't remember the name. Aluminium composites? No, no. That's, <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, the that's one, the first book the I one, can see. The one behind the behind camera. Behind the chicken? Oh. No, not behind the chicken. The one behind the camera on next to the wall next to that. There's a, it's a, it's a, a great well, book written about how human resor uh, resources of the world and things like that. Oh. And how we're never going to go totally nuclear. We're never going to get rid of coal. Mm. We're never going to go totally green because we need to wean these things out. And it's going to be a good two, three, four, five generations until we work out what we're doing. Because what, what we might find is a good idea at the time with solar or wind energy. What's to say in 30 years' time that 
that that natural resource ain't going to be around. Yeah. Wind's going to die out? Well, we don't know. Climate change. We don't know, know with climate True. change. Even yeah. though climate change is kind of half proven that this is the way the world cycles and stuff like that and mm. with trees and, you know, it grows more trees. And But, you know, let's face it, it's affecting humans. Mm. Humans aren't supposed to be here. We've done enough damage to this world. <laughs> but, like, you would think that water would not go away because you know how they use the water? Because the water levels are going to rise, right? Yeah. So you would think that the water energy would never go away. Well, absolutely. So, so you know, using water energy with water machines and things like that would be, be quite smart. Yeah, yeah, but I listened to a podcast episode uh, somewhere on YouTube, and on that episode they mentioned that there was this crazy scientist who developed a water engine for a car. Mm. But what And he, he died in a car accident? <laughs> <laughs> so he died drowning? Yeah. He displayed oh. his car on a show, automotive show, and then some company bought him, of and, course. Then, and they shelved it immediately. Yeah, they did that with electric cars 40 years ago. Yeah, they shelved the technology they, because they, petrochemical they, companies just didn't want it. The, mm. the car industry is fucked, though. It's a, but they couldn't a whole get rid of piece. Elon Musk, so he must be lizard people. You know? I don't know. No, yeah, I think Illuminati. it was time for it. Time for Maybe. it. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear the whole LA thing where they're going to do, um, what do you say, the, they're going to roll out the whole green initiative where everyone's going to be driving electric cars? That's going to be great. Yeah. But then there's the argument when people say, look, you, you cause a lot more emissions by making electric cars. Now, yes, initially. Mm -hmm. Yes, initially. But once we get it down to a fine art, as with anything, mm. with when the horse and carriage was replaced, oh my God, yes, horses! You can't have these cars around the horses, you know. Yeah. And and, and if we went back to horses, to be about natural pollutions and stuff like that, I I think it's going to get to a stage. Yeah, we need to go there. Mm -hmm. um, petrochemical can't last forever. Um. Yeah, it can't last forever when it runs out. No. No. Yeah. And <laughs> and batteries don't last forever, unfortunately. Um, I wish I knew the answer. Let's just mm. go back to horses. Let's just, I know, because... I mean, they didn't they, produce they, carbon too much. They, well, they not too much carbon. Crap. They well, when they fart, a lot of shit. but... When they poop, we've got fertilizer. Precisely, and then we use that for biomass. And bio we can use that to burn. We and can burn we horse poop. Precisely. So you trust, trust you the Australians. I know, right? Of Star Trek. Hello. I'm okay with it. Are you watching Star Trek Discovery on CBS? All yes, access? but I've only watched one because I can't get... Two and three at the moment because I've got things with the way I watch it that's not happening. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if you, if you mentioned if you watch it. Or anything, don't spoil it. Do you know anything about dilithium crystals they use? In oh Star yes, Trek? The, the power engines and stuff like that. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So that's that's a, a, a finite resource. So mm. even Star Trek has crisis. You know. <laughs> yes, they have to, they have to barter for dilithium crystals. Yes, yes. Yep. So I mean, we're not very far. And if one there. cracks, you're screwed. Mm. It's not like having a leaky battery. Yeah. Oh, they a, explode. Well, they they, 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 once they crack, they're no longer useful. They have to be a oh. solid shell. I'm not quite sure. the energy, right? I, I would expect that if you broke one, if you drop one, you might be in trouble considering the amount of energy they can. <laughs> right, exactly. There yeah, might be yeah, a bit yeah. of an arc, then you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. in, even in Star Trek, they have this uh, the Discovery is powered by spore drive. Which oh, that's is, right, yes. Which is uh, basically energy from this species. That and that's who the guy taps into. He goes into yes. the spore drive and becomes all spory. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't need to use dilithium crystals, which is a bit of a nerd talk here, but TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That, was a good, that was an interesting tangent. Star Trek. You're a Star Trek fan? Like secretly? Uh, I'm no, not even secretly. I'm publicly open about it. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's out. He's, he's an out Star Trek fan. Yeah, I like Star Trek. We just, by the way, finished Mandalorian. Mm. Oh so my watched. gosh. Do not get me started on You're that. Like a year behind, but oh, yeah, we really are. Bless. Oh, bless. No, it's like no, it's like us with uh, Game of Thrones. We didn't watch it until the last season, and we're like, oh my god, we've got to get in this before mm. it starts. Yeah, before it starts. No, before the last episode, oh, of the last season, like it before it ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, but I like binging it all in one day because then you have to wait and wait and wait. You can just watch it all at once. Yeah. You watch the whole thing in one day. I like that with Rick and Morty. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so finite resource and Earth. Uh, do you have any interesting takes about uh, finite resources and how people and should space. not be using asteroid technology and stuff like that? Or Way to put me on spot, sweetheart. That's, okay. that's what we're here for. We need Hello, way to put me on spot. <laughs> Didn't you in. tell me some interesting fact about uh, how humans could be self-sufficient? Well, like they can use biomass and they can use, well, they always use solar and they use, the sun's not going to run out, is it? Unless climate change affects the sun and the whole ozone layer gets covered. Well, I did watch uh, another interesting uh, video about <laughs> your really inter interesting videos interesting video. <laughs> and how there are. I heard from a guy I've made of a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was on YouTube about the solar flares and how they could yeah. affect, turn, like yeah. destroy all of human 
Oh, uh, it's happened. In 1914 it happened. In yeah. 1927 it happened. There were the solar flares and the pulses of the sun that took out the whole communications array yes, and power yes. arrays around the world. So sun is not very, it's like a so solar flares. Bags. When that happens, they just take out electricity then? It's an EMP. Oh. So it will fry equipment. If we get a large enough sunburst, it, it, it uh, can take out satellites, it can take out communications. Can people utilise that power to do something with it? Well, you probably could, but how do you, we haven't got the technology to catch an EMP. Yeah, maybe in a yeah we have years. the technology to go into space and mine things. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, that we don't. That's the problem. We're They're still trying to work it out. It, yeah, space is such yeah. a new, new idea. It's only like fifty years. I mean, old let's explore our oceans. Let's not yeah, mine our oceans. Yeah, we don't even know oceans. the oceans. Let's, we haven't even been to our deepest parts of the, the Mariana ocean. Trench. Yeah, well, Mariana I mean, Trench, but there's below that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't yeah, yeah. been. Yeah. We don't know what's there. Maybe yeah. there are minerals down there. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, let's <laughs> rape some more. Well, <laughs> that's the premise of the Meg. You know, the Megalodon. Oh, that was a scary movie. It was. Well, the concept of it was scary that something under there could come up one day and just kind of eat the land oh, and yeah, eat yeah, us yeah. all. Yeah, 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 yeah. How big was it? The Kraken? It was like, oh my gosh, how big was it? It was huge, like at least several, several cruise ships. It was, oh. It was around yeah. the size of a submarine, pretty much. It's like, not bigger. It's, it's, no, it's bigger than the submarine, yeah. It's yeah. like if you're at a beach and it's a populated beach like Dalmatia and then everyone eats, and like everyone's there, the shark could just kind of, in one, in one foul yeah, swoop, just eat everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't like that. No, every time I'm at the beach now, I'm like, is it down there? (laughs) (laughs) Freaks me out. We're like, you walk on a rock. (laughs) Megalodon, (laughs) Megalodon. We're going on uncharted territory either way, up or down. Yeah, I think so. Either way, we're both fucked. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all a pipe dream. And and it's unnecessary money. I mean, we talk about, it's all about resourcing and investment and stuff like that. But why don't we just, again, back to my old, the old trope. Can't we just take care of our own first? Can't we get our shit together on mm-hmm. this planet before we fucking start fucking up everywhere else? Well, you then again, is it just a media stunt? Because if we haven't got the technology oh, for it now, question. I mean, they're just going to, they have barely done, like, SpaceX has done a lot of things already, but they haven't done that anything to that extent. It is a great grabber and we're talking about yeah, it. So yeah, so I feel like they probably just said it like, oh, NASA and NASA, NASA? NASA and SpaceX She's no longer teamed Australia. up. <laughs> 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 I think it's just a media stunt because this would be like 10, 20 years down the track at least. Not yeah. even. Not so, even. yeah. It's probably just... I mean, look, we might be able to get up there, but yeah. we've got to have the technologies, we've got to have the, you know, we've got to, to have an down. observation deck up there or there something. There needs to be a base before they go and up. And the technology to physically yeah. get the thing off the asteroid. And don't asteroids move? But I mean, they're yes. not stationary, right? So no. you'd have to rope it, like Indiana Jones, <laughs> rope it, and then, like, pull it in? And is that a butterfly? <laughs> and by doing that, is it a butterfly effect? Yeah, do you, like, stuff up the whole, like, circle, the whole, like, way the Earth moves? But, but uh... Yeah. Do, do you remember that episode where we did about Tom Cruise going to space? Oh, oh yeah. He's probably going to oh, pioneer fuck. that whole asteroid thing. He'll be dead maybe, by the time that happens. Maybe no, that's no, no. why he's going he's, into space to film his movie. Maybe. Yeah. He's doing a recce to have a look up there and see what he can do. For the Church of Scientology. Maybe he will, like, introduce the concept to the rest of the world through his movie. Like, mm. we should mine asteroid to save Are Earth. Are you sure he's True. not going to introduce and be like, this is what Scientology can give you? An asteroid, motherfucker. Oh, he's going to say, I saw Xenu, we should go. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I saw Zeno on that asteroid. Come with me, my young ones. <laughs> and you'll sing Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyway. A whole new world up there for real. Yeah. Yeah. So Did we get anywhere this time? I'm yeah, looking got, for a show that we actually get somewhere. Yeah, we got hot. I think takes. we put thoughts out, didn't we? Here, here, yeah, well we, did. we didn't have a quote that was wrong this time. So <laughs> that's like one step ahead. <laughs> Done. Yes. <laughs> Awkward silence. Yeah, here's yeah. my. Yeah. <laughs> they used to be like that awkward turtle thing. You used to have that in like high school yeah. and middle oh, school. High school awkward turtle. When there's an awkward silence, you go awkward turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole thing in middle school. I would love yep. to do that yep. at a function. Oh, so how many funny. times you go to a function? I don't know if you've been like the charity events mm. we have here, and you drink and you, they introduce you to people. It's like I have nothing in common with you, and you have nothing in common with me. Like. I'm here, you're there. Just like, do yeah, this. Yeah, just yeah. do this. It'll <laughs> 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 work well. So what yeah. do you say to, towards people like scientists who, who give you the argument it's for the advancement of science? Well, you can't argue with that because that's what scientists do. Whether right. it makes sense or not at the time, they're there to advance science. And, and science is deliberately there to be proven wrong, mm. unlike other certain aspects in the world. I mean, at least science turns around and says, look, if it's wrong, it's wrong. The reason we're experimenting in this is to find if it's going to work or not. Mm. Also, no. they do get grant money. They do get grant money, but that, that's, yeah, I don't, that doesn't, but the, do, have you ever met? <laughs> Have you, have you ever met, again? No. One more have, time, one more time. One more have time, you ever met a well-to-do scientist? 
They're it's not like they're, it's like not like they're North pocketing Korea. the funds. No, it's true. You know that 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 research grant money, which everyone talks about, doesn't go in to buy themselves a no, a beautiful the, villa down by you know down by a, a nice research. river. It goes into research. Unless they're yeah, doing but, experiments in the river. Unless they're doing experiments in the river, or they're working for, working for big farms. Yeah, if they're working independent. They're screwed. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, so uh, for our listeners out there, uh, please do like or follow or subscribe, whichever platform you're on. So we are on iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, blah, blah, blah. Go to TWAWT.com, twat.com Twat. to com. find us. And we're also on YouTube. Oh, so subscribe, I like, and... Uh, <laughs> I, remember, I remember to hit the bell button so you guys get notified every time they post a video. Yeah. Oh God, you're fitting right in here. Hit the yeah. bell. <laughs> so yeah. that's all we have today, boys and girls. We hope to see you next time on Twat. Two Wongs and a White uh, Plus One. There it is. Bye, darlings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>